so without realizing it, uh, this maybe month, I will just call it month, has turned into Sonic Month. <laughs> Everything I've been getting in the mail and all the stuff I've been like finding and like cool stuff to do videos on, it's all been Sonic related. I mean, it kind of started last uh, Tuesday with um, you know me building that Lego set, but then that's something I ordered a long time ago that I totally forgot existed came in, and it's big, it's big as hell. And that is a uh, <laughs> Sonic Hedgehog. Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, it's like an encyclopedia of everything from Sonic the Hedgehog, 30 years of Sonicness. So, that said, I kind of want to open this thing up and just kind of see. I, I don't even know what it's all about. I remember ordering it a long time ago because it was like pretty cheap. It's like 30 bucks or maybe 40 bucks. I don't know, but it, it became 30 after some kind of discount. That said, um, this thing's heavy. I don't know what's in it. Uh, I'm really interested to see what kind of history this thing shows, maybe art cards or something. And I'm going to take you on that journey with me. So without further ado, let's go. So I had to zoom out a bit for this one because this book is freaking huge, man. Like, here's a, I don't know, Game Gear game for scale. Um, let's be a, little, a bit more appropriate. Here's a Game Gear game for sale. Sale. <laughs> it for sale. Come on, you can buy it. Uh, $24.99. Um, but... I mean, this thing's massive. Um, so I've already started the plastic because I've had hiccups in the past cutting stuff in front of you guys. Let's dig this guy uh, out. And it has a little sheet on the back. I'm um, kind of showing you some of the stuff on the inside so we won't really bother with that. But look at this. It's it's not really a, a it's a box. There's a box to it, a box aspect to it. Ooh, let's uh, God dang. This thing is freaking massive. Let's close the box. The box is cool, by the way. I mean, obviously you saw it, but I like it a lot. Let's move this out of the way, though. Here's the book itself. There's two things here. Let's see what the thin thing is first. Kind of like a folder. All hard. The box, too, by the way. The box is like chipboard. So is everything. So let's see what is in here. Ew! That's cool, like a cool little art print thing. Look at that. That's something I could stand up. That's nice. That's really cool. Old uh, Robotnik and, and old Sonic, or Eggman, whatever you want to call him. I'm going to put this back over here. But here's the book itself. And my god, it is beautiful. I love how they show just all sorts of stuff from the different games. I mean, you got Sonic Racing Transform, Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, of course. I think this is Sonic 4. Sonic Advanced. Oh, that's a good series. That's a really great series, actually. Um, underrated. Sonic Air Ride, I think it was called. I never actually got to play that one. Um, Sonic Mania, Dead Center. Uh, man, this is just great. Uh, what other kind of stuff do they have on here? Oh, uh, yeah, Special Zones on the back. Sonic and Knuckles. Some more Sonic and Knuckles. Um, I wonder if they're going to have... Like Sonic the Fighters on here, or uh, that other fighting game, Sonic Battle for the Game Boy Advance, I think it was called. Um, obviously, we're not gonna flip through every single page, but you know, let's kind of get like a kind of get a finger on the pulse, right? So this is written by Ian Flynn, whoever that chap is. And wow, okay, so they have here's the table of contents. Uh, talk about a coffee table book, geez. Um, so you got Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic 16-bit uh, and 8-bit, so that'd be Mega Drive and um, Master System. Sonic Arcade Games, so that's kind of neat. Uh, oh, Sonic the Fighters is in there. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 16 and 8-bit. Sonic CD, Sonic Chaos, Bean Bean Machine, Drifting, Sonic. So you got Sonic Drift 1 and 2, which I have... Oh no, where's it at? Uh, you know what? I have it in my show. I have I have all these Game Gear games here. I thought it was over here, but I actually have Sonic Drift um, on the shelf. Uh, Chaotix, Tail Sky Patrol. So we're getting into kind of the weird era of Game Gear and and stuff of that nature. Sonic R, Sonic Adventure, and DX. Sonic Shuffle, which if you've never played that, it's like they're kind of come come at you with uh, what do you call it? Um, Mario Party. <laughs> it's the version of Mario Party with Sonic characters. Sonic Adventure 2 and Battle, Sonic Advance, 1, 2, 3, Sonic Heroes, they do have Sonic Battle, awesome, uh, Sonic Rush, Sonic 06 gets 6 pages apparently, I kind of want to see what it wants to say about that, Sonic and the Black Knight, I mean it looks like they go all the way up to, um, I guess Sonic Mania, Sonic Forces, then they have these mobile games, which is, you know, 
interesting that, that they have so many. I didn't even know that. Um, then it looks like they talk about uh, <laughs> some special appearances, including Smash Brothers and the Olympic Games, and then collections. So I really want to see what they say about Sonic Jam. And look, there's a lot. Oh, it's timeline. Um, there's a lot to do with Sonic Jam, right? Because that had like that only 3D playable thing with Saturn. Um, let's just kind of start flipping through. Just kind of see what's going on. They have a little intro, some nice pictures. This art really reminds me a lot of um, like the, this art of the characters is like Sonic Heroes, but the background is maybe more modern, like colors or something. But uh, oh, look at that. So here you go. Sonic has all the zones, it looks like. It goes into that kind of detail. Um, down to art. That's cool. This is neat. Um, I, I mean, I really didn't know what to expect, but I mean, this is like a comprehensive history, right, of everything. Here's the 8-bit version, so um, that's cool. It even shows the zones there, and even like the sprites. has like all the sprites. Ah, so this is what they were talking about with the arcade stuff. So Sonic the Fighters is the last part on that. I'm going to kind of breeze through. I remember seeing something about this, this popcorn shop thing. This game is a trackball game. Um, yeah, you like spin like a, like centipede or something. Wow, yep, there's Sonic the Fighters. Here's Sonic the Fighters. Ah, uh, Honey the Cat. I don't remember that in the Saturn version. Or, um, the Xbox Live version or whatever. So maybe, uh, I haven't played it in so long. Maybe that character's actually in there. I don't want to start telling tales out of school. Sonic 2. Sonic 2 should be... 8-bit, so that's cool. Wow. Um, Sonic CD. I'm gonna try to flip a little bit. Try to get ahead of us. Sonic Spinball we talked about. Mean Bean Machine. So here's the Sonic Drift. So Sonic Drift was a series that was on the, um... So it tells you where the stuff was. So Sonic Drift was on the Game Gear. Sonic Drift 1 did not come out here. Obviously you can tell from this. But I actually have a boxed copy of Sonic Drift 1, but Sonic Drift 2 did come out in the olden America and in 95 of all places. I want this game, actually. Any of you guys who watch this channel happen to have this game, send me a comment or a message. I would buy this from you. This is a game that I definitely want. Um, it's cool they show all this stuff. I didn't realize that Metal Sonic was in it. That's neat. And freaking uh, Fang. Fang the Sniper. That's, that's cool. So... Sonic the Hedgehog 3, we get it. I like how they have the bosses, though. This is so cool. Um, try to get ahead, Sonic and Knuckles. I mean, you know, this is... So, here we have some of the Dream, uh, Dreamcast Game Gear stuff. Um, this is another thing. I Really, I want a lot of Sonic Game Gear games. I just want Game Gear games, now that I can play them easily. Um, oh, so this is... They had a whole section about this, Learning with Sonic. So they had the stuff on the Pico Interactive, which uh, I have a good friend of mine, I think, has one of those. Um, but I don't want to be telling tales out of school, so I may be lying. Um, Knuckles Chaotix. I mean, this is quality. Obviously, this book is, is quality. Um, that goes without saying, but it's so cool to see this stuff. Tales Adventure. So, Tales Adventure, I have played it. Uh, it looks like they have three releases, so I don't have a copy of it for the Game Gear. But, um, I played this on the Sonic Mega Collection Plus or Sonic Gems Collection. One of the ones, I think it was the one on GameCube, had this game on it. And it's really funny. A lot of people don't know this. So in this game, for some reason, Tails throws bombs and the bombs blow up into rings. It's like a weird thing. And they referenced that in Sonic 06. Like the first level you can play as Tails and you throw bombs that blow up into rings. And like I remember all my friends being like, what the hell is that all about? And it's it was weird because like for such a crappy game, it, like, had this weird callback reference to a Game Gear game from 95. I always thought that was wild, because it's like, you know, like, no one played this game, so, like, that was such, like, a deep cut, like, inside thing. Like, it was wild. Uh, Sonic Labyrinth, I've actually never got to play, so that's neat. Uh, now we're going into, what, Sonic 3D Blast. Um, Saturn version, way better than the Genesis version, music. Uh, is is my main bit there. In fact, uh, any of my Christmas videos I just did, I used the Diamond Dust Zone from the Saturn version for the Christmas music. Uh, FYI, if you were wondering. Um, Sonic Blast on the Master System? What? I need to get a Master System. Because <laughs> that is wild. 
Uh, Sonic R. Actually, I was just watching, uh, I've been watching AGDQ all week. Uh, maybe that is what's driving this Sonic marathon I'm doing this month. Because, you know, you gotta go fast, just like them. And I'm telling you, I keep finding more Sonic stuff. So, you know what? I'm calling it here. This is the month of Sonic. The rest of the videos I make are gonna be Sonic related to some extent, I guess. Um, anywho, back to what we're talking about. Um, yeah, so Sonic R is actually uh, horrible. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this game's not good. Um, Sonic Adventure, however, okay, this is the polarizing view. People are like, oh, Sonic Adventure's trash. You know, no, it's not. This is, this is my childhood, I'm sorry. This game is great. Maybe I'll make a video on this this month, I don't know, hell. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 are so good. I love them, I love, this is cool. Look, they show all the character upgrades and where they're at and how to get them, that's neat. Um, you know, and you can't tell watching this video, but, you know, I'm flipping through this book, and, um, has that new book smell? I don't know. It smells really good. Uh, Sonic Adventure DX. It looks like they're... She makes a cameo in this game? Huh. That's interesting. I do know the Metal Sonic thing, because I've done that before. And the Chow Garden, of course, is cool, because it could link up with, um... What do you call that thing? The uh, Game Boy Advance games, which is neat. Um, yeah, so this is what I was talking about. Sonic Shuffle is, in fact, a Mario Party game. Here's all the games. Um, here's all the characters. I have this game. I've actually never really played it. I never sat down with like four people and played it. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2, another good game. Uh, this is actually a game I have not 100%ed in the sense of like get all of the um, emblems. Uh, I should do that one day, but it's pretty hard. There's a lot on this game. Now, the Sonic Advance series is like thebomb.com. This is kind of like, you know, I know the DX was like Nintendo and Sega. You know, after Sega is kind of done, it's like them coming together. This is where it really shines, though. I love Sonic Advance 1, 2, and 3. They're all good. They're all good for different reasons. Um, you know, it's just, it's just really, really good 2D platforms. The one thing I will say is terrible in most, if not all of them, is the special, uh, special stages. They suck. But uh, maybe I'm alone in that. I think they're horrible. Sonic Heroes, though, is a game I actually really, really liked. Mainly because of... Is it going to like talk specifically about them? Maybe... Team Dark? Where's, where's Team Chaotix? Team Chaotix is why. Why is there... There we go. Okay. <laughs> back here in the back. In the back of the bus. You got Team Chaotix. By the way, here's Charmy B and Espio. Espio is like one of my favorite characters ever. So, you yeah. know. Don't at me, bro. This game, Sonic Battle, I don't know if it's good or not because of, like, nostalgia. I loved it when I was a kid, and I, I beat it 100%. Like, I unlocked all the abilities, all the cards, because uh, there's a character named Emerald right here, and you can, like, slowly unlock every character's move for Emerald and, like, make him, like, the ultimate version of Emerald. And I did that. Um, I, you know, maybe I put too much time in that game. I really liked it. Uh, when I was growing up, anyway. Let's keep on going. Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay, this game is notorious for being horrible, and I have literally never played it. I don't own it, and I kind of want to. So, add this to the list of uh, anyone who owns this game who wants to sell it to a small-time YouTuber. Put it in the comments down below. Let's go. Because um, I will play it. I will play this game. I will play this game in its entirety. I will stream it, and, and I will do that. that. That's a promise. If I can get this game before the month is out. Uh, Sonic Rush, I never played, heard it was good. Don't really care. Sonic, Sonic 06. Fun story about this game. This game is one of my biggest, like, Christmas regrets. Uh, you know, I love Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. There hadn't been, like, a 3D Sonic really since. They announced this game, and I was so hyped. I remember asking my parents to get me this for Christmas, and they did. And, you know, they held up their end of the bargain, and I got it. And I was like, okay. And then I just kept hitting loading screens. So many loading screens. And then I had to fight Silver, and oh my god, that was horrible. And, you know, I will say, like, you know, I didn't have many games, like, growing up. So I beat this game. Like, all stories, including the final story. I didn't, like, 100% it or anything, but I have beaten it. I've, I've done my time, all six years of it, or whatever he said in Harry Potter. This game sucks, but you know what? I beat it, so, you know, 
I can say that. This is another game I haven't played that I would like to. You know, I didn't even realize it was on PS2. I always associated this game with the GameCube. Um, is it on GameCube? I thought it was on GameCube. Uh, maybe it is. I, don't, I can't tell. But, yeah, it's another game that looks neat. Sonic Rivals! I actually have this game, and it's not that great, but it's okay. Uh, I know there's a second one, which I never played. And yes, this is the one thing I do remember, is getting all the clothes for the characters. I didn't ever play as him, but I specifically remember being Eggman Knuckles, like, all the time. But, you know, whatever. There's a second one, which I never played. It looks like there's more characters, so that's interesting. What? Freaking SBO? All right, maybe I need to maybe I need to get this game. Probably not though, but maybe. Sonic of the Secret Rings. I have this game. I tried playing it. The controls were really bad, so I did not get very far. But before we start dunking on this series, this was a trilogy, like the storybook trilogy. They were gonna do three of them. They only did two of them. And the second one should be next. No, okay. Sonic Rush Adventure, another game I never played. But the next one should be. Another game I haven't played? Nope. Come on, man. Where are you at? Where are you at, dog? Oh my god. Sonic Unleashed. I don't care. I didn't like this game either. There's a lot for Sonic Unleashed, though. Sonic Chronicles. Another game I haven't played. Yes, here we go. Back to what I was... Sonic the Black Knight. This game is apparently hated. I liked it. This was one of my first Wii games, and I'm not gonna lie, like... It waggled the hell out of the waggle control, but like, man, it was freaking decent. Like, I thought it was. And the cool thing was, afterwards, you unlock, like, Knuckles, um, Blaze, and, and Shadow, and they actually got different weapons, which was cool, because, like, Sonic only got to use Caliburn, which is, like, Excalibur, the sword. Um, so I did not play any of the Sonic Racings until Transform? which was free on Xbox, and then I was like, this game is great, and then you unlock Danica Patrick, and then it gets even better, because it's Danica Patrick. Um, Sonic Hedgehog 4, never played it. Um, actually, I did play one, I didn't like it, and I don't think a lot of people did, but then I heard that 4, episode 2 was good. Don't know, and I didn't even know there was an episode medal, which is weird, because I like to think I have a pretty good Sonic, like, you know, knowledge. Sonic Colors, I actually played for the first time with the re-release, and, and let me preface this by saying I played it on Xbox, so I didn't have the problems. Uh, so I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was a good game. I beat it. Um, is is the right length. It wasn't very long, it wasn't very short. Sonic Generations was a game I loved, loved, loved. Uh, one thing that I do dislike is there's a Casinopolis zone uh, with a sweet jazz remix on the 3DS version that's not on the console version. And that pisses me off, because, like, I really wanted to experience that. Um, see right here, the handheld stages. They got different stuff. I'm like, dude, come on, bro. Like, don't do that. Lost World did not play it, because why would I? Who looks at this and is like, this is looks cool? Like, nope. Not at all. Sonic Boom! That's just... Just, how, many, how many pages is that? It needs to go away. It really needs to go away. Because there's another one. Sonic Mania. Now, this is where we're talking. The game's so nice, I bought it thrice? I, I own a lot of copies of this game. I have the Switch version. I have the big, like, statue version uh, with the Xbox. The one that came with the card in the ring. And I imported the Japanese version uh, for Switch because it came with the soundtrack, which is amazing. I have the soundtrack on vinyl for this game. This game is what happens when a passion project becomes something bigger. Um, because this game, if you don't know, was made by a guy who made a great fan Sonic game. Sega, like, recognized that and was like, you know what? Like, do it, dude. And, like, boom, we, that's how we got Sonic Mania. And then later we got uh, Sonic Mania Plus, which was right here, which includes Mighty and Ray. And a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Mighty, the Armadillo, was actually in the first fan game that I was kind of referencing earlier, which is really cool. Uh, Sonic Forces, another game that, oddly enough, I 100% of this game, like all achievements. Uh, I don't know. I didn't think it was that bad. It's kind of weird. The music was good. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. I didn't like uh, Joey the Skunk or whatever his name was. <laughs> Uh, now, it looks like this is where they're talking about the mobile games. I actually don't know any of these, so we're gonna flip through it. Dude, if these guys want to make money, like, legit money, 
make a Chow Garden mobile game, right? Like, am I the only one thinking that? Like, a Chow Garden mobile game would be, I would, like, that would be something that would be hard for me not to spend microtransactions on, because um, I'm an idiot. But anyway, it looks like here's where we're talking about, you know, Sonic in uh, all these Olympic games. Um, this is Sonic, talk about him in Smash Brothers Brawl, has his move set even, that's kind of neat. Uh, cameos and collectibles and all the stuff. Oh, it's all like Smash Brothers Brawl and it's like a chart, but I mean, it's everything. Um, now here's the compilations. I was really interested to see what they're going to talk about. So Sonic Jam, they do talk about the 3D bit, which is cool. Uh, Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Um, there's different versions. So there's Mega Collection and Plus. The Plus version... Let's see, default has Sonic, 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 uh, 1, 2, 3, Knuckles, 3D, me, uh, Mean Bean Machine. But you can unlock stuff, right? Yeah, they have it here. And how to unlock it, even. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so here's all the unlockable content, too. That's awesome. Sonic Gems Collection. Now, this uh, I own on the GameCube. And if you're in America, it came out on the GameCube only. And it's actually shown here. Um, this is a great one. Because this one comes with... Uh, Sonic the Fighters, Sonic R, Sonic CD. But you can also unlock all the GameCube games are with it. And um, then they have, it looks like there's unlockable, more unlockable stuff here, some Street Rage stuff, which is cool. I like the Sonic Gems collection. That is like a really good one. And here's a cool timeline. So it's just kind of showing you from beginning to now. Um, does it go all, does it go a little further? It does not. So it ends at 2020. It ends with Sonic and the uh, Olympic Games 2020, but still very cool. This was a cool book and I Recommend this book. I can definitely recommend this book to anyone. I think this is great But uh, you know, hey, what do you guys think? That's 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 what's important and that my friends was the Sonic Sonicopedia Cyclopedia Sonic Cyclopedia and you know uh, it's, it's less of a book and more of a treasure a treasure chest if you will uh, of items and history. Um, I love the pictures. I love the art. I, I love it in general. But hey, what do you guys think? Are you guys big art book collectors or game art collectors? Is this something that you would uh, maybe try to get? It's supposed to come out in December. Got pushed to now. I don't know if that's why there's a price drop or not. But on Amazon, I still think the price drop is, uh, is around. But hey, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That's going to do it for us today, guys. Uh, this is a little quick video, but you know what Sonic says? You got to go fast. And you know what else you got to do? You got to like and subscribe. That'd be super cool. If you haven't, please do. It would be fantastic. And as always, my friends, take it easy.